Hey everybody, boys, girls, children of all ages, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to Muppet Collectibles. I'm joined with Katie, my lovely partner. So, as a lot of you are aware, I am currently in Canada, spending time with Katie. Um, unfortunately, I have to leave in about a week's time, due to the um, visitor's visa is only valid for six months, so I have to leave do a couple of months in the UK and then come back for six months again. So that's the plan. Hopefully I can move here soon because that is the long term goal. So this is a quick video to show some pops that Katie's picked up recently or within the last six months. Um, they may be duplicates that you've already seen in previous videos but she wanted to do it so that she can hopefully complete this set. The set we are talking about has eight pops in it. She has six. She's currently looking for the last two. And we will get into it and then hopefully see if anyone, any of you amazing creatures, amazing Muppets out there may have it for sale or open to trade or know where we can find them. Because at the moment we cannot find it in Canada. So without further ado, we'll get into the video. So this set is the Mickey and Friends Disney line. And the first one we've got is Mickey Mouse. So as a lot of you know, Katie is rather shy. So she's asked me to explain the pops while she holds them up. So we have Mickey Mouse number 1187 from the line. He is an awesome pop. This, this line is quite cool because it's the classics. So you can't have Mickey without having his girlfriend. So, that kind of gives you the inkling who's next. We have Minnie Mouse. This is 11.88. Again, another awesome pop. And I want to know, are the rumours true with Disney? Is Mickey leaving? I remember seeing a TikTok and it pretty much stated that Disney will be no longer using Mickey. They're going to use that, whoever it is, Pip or Magic, Magic Dragon. Ain't got a clue, so let me know below. So, you can't have Mickey, you can't have Minnie Mouse without a man's best friend, Pluto. So, again, this is 11.89 out of the set. Another cool pop. You don't see a lot of dog ones, and this is quite cool. So, imagine having a yellow dog in real life. <laughs> now, that'd be funny. I know you could die, but I don't think I'm going to die a dog. <laughs> so, the next one we have is really cool and it's goofy. So, this one is 11.90. Another absolutely amazing pop. I love the design of him. I love the design of all of them, to be honest. Um, yeah, it is cool. So the next one we have, or shall I say the next one we need, which we do not have, is Donald Duck. So we need Donald Duck. And that's the next one we are looking for. So Donald Duck is number... Where is he? Donald Duck is number 1191. So if anyone does have Donald Duck, he's there on the back. Drop us a comment below. If you, wrote, if you know me on Facebook, go over, drop us a message, and I'm sure we can sort something out with you. But, we have Donald's Mrs, Daisy, aka Daisy Duck. So, we need to find her boyfriend, we need to find her husband. She's lonely without him. She's sick of going on couples dates with Mickey and Minnie. So, we need to find him. So, yeah, this one is 11.92 out of the set. Another awesome pop. She likes them, so that's the main thing. So yeah. And then the next one we have is Chip. Now this is a cool pop. Chip is eleven ninety three in the collection. But unfortunately, Chip is also missing his other half, his brother. His brother from another mother. He is missing Dale. So the two we are missing is Donald Duck, 
and Dale from this set. Dale is obviously a number 1194 and he will be the last one that she needs for this collection. So we are currently looking for Donald Duck and Dale. So if anyone does have them and is willing to sell or trade, let us know. So, and then the next one we have, which was picked up from a local store here in Timmins, Ontario, Canada, called Winners. If anyone knows what that store is, real if you don't, it is pretty much a second-hand how, store. Yeah, basically. it's pretty much like a second-hand store. Obviously, in the UK, we have charity shops, we have second-hand shops. It's pretty much the same thing. You go in, there's cheap clothing, there's cheap furniture, there's ornaments. Basically, they receive the stuff that the other stores are not selling. Yeah, pretty much it. So it's like, um, how can I word it? When you pile like an Amazon pallet and you've got all the off casts that doesn't sell and they sell them in bulk. So these go to that store. Recently, we have found out that they actually do carry some Funko products. And it can't come out, leave it in there. It's just heavy. And we found this one. We found Steamboat Mickey from the art series. They didn't have any others at the time, so we are on the hunt for those. I know there is a big line of the art series pops. I think... This is... one's got 22. 18, 19, 20. Yeah. 21, 22. I have number 18. So out of the ones that we've seen that aren't... Ex extremely valuable or are extremely pricey there is 25 of the art series from codes we are looking for so again if anyone has any anyone has them that they're willing to sell or trade once i get back into the uk i will be doing a update video on my pops because i will be getting rid of quite a few so stay tuned for that so that is the pops that katie's picked up recently you kind of see the theme with it a lot of it is disney and she is obsessed with Mickey and Friends. And also stay tuned because I do have pops in the UK at the moment. That unfortunately I cannot make the video or be in the video. But my partner will be doing the videos for me. Yeah, so when I get back I will be doing an update video of the pops that she has in the UK with me. And then we will get them shipped over. So that she can do an update video when she receives them. Or hopefully an unboxing. And yeah. So that's her collection so far. She does have pops upstairs. That she is also looking for other pops. Which is the Lucha Libre set. She's currently looking for a few of those. So again. Don't I have two that I'm missing out of that collection? I think there's more than two on that one. But I could be wrong. Uh, we currently have four of the Lucha Libre. So let me just check. I'm currently on the phone on the TPD app. Um, I know a lot of people use different apps. But because I'm from the UK, I use TPD. And it, it works for me. So I'm um, just going to look and see what pops, what ones there is. My apologies if you hear noise in the background. I have cats. And one's clawing the chair. Dude, can you <laughs> see him in the background? That's Casper. He's an absolute... Mm, yeah. <laughs> Nutter is the word. He knows you're doing something, so he'll claw the hell out of something behind you to get your attention. He's been chasing a fly for the last 20 minutes, jumping up and down, and try, trying to scale the walls and so on and so on. And now he's physically <laughs> on the computer stand. So while she deals with that. So, we are currently looking for the Loki Lucha Libre, the Wolverine X-Force, the original Wolverine, the Captain Marvel, and the Metallic Venom. So if anyone has any of those... Again, drop us a comment below. 
private message me over on Facebook, just search Muppet Collectibles, I do have a page over there, go follow that, go join it, and come over and say hi. Oh, and this pop then come with a sorter. Yeah, that one came with a, um, the Art Series hard stacks, but because I have the signed uh, Gabriel Iglesias fluffy punk, punk, black light Funko upstairs, we swapped and he is in that. This is a glow box from GameStop that it glows up once it's plugged in and it spins if you just put a pop in it. So. Like you have to take it out of the box for it yeah, to Yeah, it's got to be out of box to spin. So again, so that's her set. So we went to Winners yesterday because her mum, aka my mum-in-law, once we get married, um, picked up a Nintendo Switch case for me because, like I said, I am travelling back to the UK. The Switch is coming with me. I don't want to get it wrecked. So while we were there, out the corner of my eye, I saw something and I kind of screamed. I have been looking for stuff like this to put in our home when we get a new place when I move here. And this is two to start the collection. So it is from the Pop Home line and it is two ceramic mugs and it is the Hulk and Iron Man. I am going to open them and I'm going to get them out because it's the first time I've seen them. I picked these up yesterday and they've been sat on the shelf pretty much waiting to do this video. They were 15 bucks in winners. Again, they had plenty of pops in there. They had some um, t-shirt bundles with some anime pops. I'm not into anime, so that's not something I picked up. Um, they had some Star Wars Broncos. They had some Harry Potter movie moments. They had some six inch Funkos. They had the Britney Spears album cover. They had quite a few. And in the corner of my eye, I saw these. And these look really cool. So, but I think you, you said that you weren't gonna. So the first one we've got is Iron Man, which is a cool looking mug. So these will be used. I'm not sticking these on the shelf. These are going to be used. Um, when we're not using them, they'll go back in the box and then they'll go back on the shelf. But for now, I am looking at so others. Fly. So if you hear the noise again, <laughs> the cat's going crazy because <laughs> he's found the fly. So yeah, that is Iron Man. And then to go with it, we have the ultimate green Hulk. Again, absolutely amazing detail on these. These are really cool. I like the fact that they've done his hair. And they're quite roomy. They do have quite a lot of room in them, so a nice hot chocolate or a nice drink or... Cool drink. A nice mug of whiskey. And especially <laughs> on hot days like we're oh, having it's, now. It's been horrendous here. Currently having fires. As much as I can say it's been horrendous, it's there is a couple of forest fires because obviously in this area is nothing but trees, nothing and but it's woods. It's super area. dry at the moment. And it, it it's not nice, obviously, when the fires coming around and everything else. So she's trying to deal with a cat. But yeah, other than that, that's pretty much our haul for this week or this month. <laughs> Right, so now I've got to figure out how to put this back together. So again, if anyone has any of the home items, I have seen like cookie jars and other mugs and um, solo mugs and stuff like that. So again, the cats are acting up. <laughs> so yeah, that's pretty much been the video. It's been an update and thank you for joining. Thank you for following our journey. Um, this is a joint account, as you can tell now. We are just known as the Funko Muppets. Muppet uh, Collectibles. Muppet Collectibles. <laughs> I, I still get that in my head. I was known as the Funko Muppet for a long time. Yeah. And when we joined the, the channel, we changed the name. 
We will be doing a new logo soon, and I am looking into doing potentially some t-shirts and t -shirt, hoodies, hats, and so on and so on. So stay tuned for them. And yeah, thanks for watching, and we will see you all in the next one. The next video will potentially be me back, me being back in the UK, and I will do an update once I get back. So again, thank you to everyone that's followed the journey so far. Thank you to everyone that has taken KD under your wing and shown her that the Funko community is a family and it is a great place to be. And we will see you all in the next video. Peace. Bye.